That's right. Very vigorous arguments in the last hour about the bail. $50 million. Of course, followers object to that, but the prosecutors say this church has a lot of money and international ties. They want to make sure that Garcia does not flee. To his followers, he is a man of God. To state prosecutors, he is a child predator. Nison Joaquin Garcia claims that God ordained him to be the voice of the gospel and lead an international flock. Light of the World Church, La Luz del Mundo. Today, he and three co-defendants made their first appearance in court. According to the complaint from the state attorney general, Garcia used his power to exploit minor girls, telling them and their parents that if they went against the apostle, they were acting against God. He is accused of making the girls touch each other sexually, having pictures taken, and forcible rape. According to his followers, the accusations are all false. Yes, he, is, he speaks for God. He is the mouthpiece for God. Um, and he is the one who, like the apostles, were established by Jesus Christ to be where they are to direct the church of God. Founded in Guadalajara, Mexico, the Fundamentalist Church claims a million followers and a growing ministry. Its doctrine has spawned dissent. Some former members compare it to a cult. Online is a form for those who want to leave the church but fear being shunned. Parents urged to disown their children for not believing. Since Garcia and his co-defendants were arrested, the main church in East L.A. has opened its doors. Members are urged to pray here around the clock. Because of the Christian principles that the church proclaims and practices, we strongly reject any act that impairs the dignity and honorability of any person. The church is part of an evangelical outreach with plans to build a 272-acre complex of offices, commercial businesses, and learning centers in Georgia. Today, Eyewitness News has learned that the members are being told not to doubt Garcia's dignity and that the felony allegations against him and his associates are the devil's work. Another appeal is expected tomorrow from the state attorney general for victims to come forward. Also next week, there will be another hearing on bail. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.